Good morning, students. Today we are going to start with a new chapter, chapter number seven, statistics. Yes, this chapter we have also done in your eighth standard and seventh standard. Okay, now statistic by the word, what comes in your mind, students? You have to make tables by using the data, or you have to draw the graph by using the data given yes now student before starting the chapter what is statistics in simple words if you see statistics means collection of raw numerical data presenting this data in such a way that it is easy to understand and conclusion can be drawn easily from it or students statistic is a branch of mathematics which deals with the collection analysis interpretation and organization of data now the term statistic is derived from a latin word status which means situation of state statistics consists of the principles and methods for collection of numerical data second analyzing the collected data third interpreting or explaining the results and fourth presentation of data or results now in ninth standard we are going to deal with fourth one that is presentation of data or results now data representation student in earlier stand, uh, standard that is standard 8 and 7 you have done with this chapter statistics and you have went with some of the data representations like forming table by using the data and uh, forming uh, uh, plotting the graph by using the data okay now data presentation are of three types diagrammatic graphical and tabulation method in diagrammatic method we can do by two things that is by doing by bar diagram or by doing pie diagram now this pie diagram you learn in your 10th standard now in graphical method student you can do by two way that is histogram and frequency polygon or frequency curve this also topic student you will learn in your 10th standard now in tabulation method you can do tables you can draw the tables in two way one is group frequency distribution table and the other one is ungroup frequency distribution table which we are going to learn in this chapter now student data representation for this year in this chapter you will have bar diagram but bar diagram you have learned four types one is simple bar graph that is you have done in your 7th standard then joint bar graph this also you have learned in your previous standard in 8th standard you learned about subdivided bar graph and percentage bar graph now in our exercise that is 7.1 we will be doing with subdivided bar graph and percentage bar graph this two topic you have already learned in your 8th standard now practice set 7.1 what is given first question the following table shows the number of buses and trucks in nearest lakh units draw percentage bar diagram approximate the percentage to the nearest integer obvious if you get in decimal you have to do the approximate it to the nearest integer okay what is given three columns are there one with the year one with the number of trucks and third one with number of buses the year in the year 2005 and 6 number of trucks were 47 number of buses were 9 
in 2007 and 8 number of trucks were 56 number of buses were 13 in 2008 and 2009 number of trucks were 60 and buses were 16 and 2009 and 2010 number of trucks were 63 and number of buses were 18 this is the given information now by using this information we have to construct percentage bar diagram now so student first we have to solve this to find out the percentage of the vehicle so any one percentage you can find out either of truck or bus okay now to find out percentage first we have to calculate see the total number of the buses in that uh, sorry total number of vehicles in the particular year so you will make a table with the year number of trucks number of buses and one column we will make with total and then two more columns that is percentage of trucks and percentage of buses now student i have written the given information in the table again that is in 2005 and 6 number of trucks were 47 and number of buses were 9 so total number of vehicles became 56 okay we need the total number to calculate the percentage okay student now 2007 and 8 total number of trucks were 56 and buses were 13 so number of the total vehicles became 69 in 2008 and 9 number of trucks were 60 buses 16 so total became 76 and 2009 and 10 the trucks were 63 and the buses were 18 and total became 81 so i'll calculate percentage of trucks so student for percentage of truck number of trucks is 47 and total is 56 so i'll write down 47 upon 56 into 100 because for percentage you have to multiply by 100 now when you'll solve this student you'll get an approximate percent near 83 that is 83.93 but it is said in the question approximate the percent to nearest integer so 83.9 you can see after decimal the digit is 9 which is more than 5 so the will round up to the next integer that is 84 so it became 84 okay now when you removed that is percentage of truck is 84 so you can remove the percentage of buses you know as percentage is calculated by 100 so you can minus 100 minus 84 so 100 minus 84 you will get 16 percent of buses okay and now we'll be solving this so your number of trucks is 56 total number of vehicles became 69 so to calculate this you'll write 56 upon 69 into 100 so when you'll solve the student you'll get answer 81.16 now after decimal point one is there so it is less than five so it will be 81 percent approximate will do that is nearest integer will be 81 so we'll minus and find out percentage of buses that is 100 minus 81 equal to 90 percent okay now we'll be moving to the next that is in the year 2008 and 2009 so let's find out percentage of trucks in that year so 60 upon 76 into 100 so if you solve then you'll get 78.95 so you'll near to the approximate integer nearest integer you'll do that is it will become 79 percent so number percentage of buses in that year will be 100 minus 79 that is 21 percent the last one that is 63 upon 81 because number of trucks were 63 total number of vehicles in that year is 81 so 63 upon 81 into 100 so when you solve then you'll get 77.77 so nearest integer will be 78 percent so percentage of buses equal to 100 minus 78 that is 22 percent now using this data will draw our percentage bar graph okay diagram so students you will use this data in graph paper you'll plot this okay so this exercise 7.1 you'll be doing in graph paper 
so this solving you can write down in the right hand side and you can draw now percentage bar graph which is given graph paper which is in left hand side now student you can see in graph you have one one units like one one units one box is one unit one box one unit okay now you will draw first vertical line and one horizontal line okay now you can leave two units gap means two boxes from your left here and from down also you can leave two boxes and draw vertical and horizontal line you will name this lines as y axis this will be your vertical line will be your y axis and your horizontal line will be x axis it is compulsory to write over here the axis name now then important thing as it is percentage graph we are doing first we will write down the scale so you have to write down scale on the top over here on x axis one unit that is 1 cm equal to 10% vehicles we will be taking 10 10 gap 10 20 30 so 10% vehicles is it clear now student you will start numbering on your vertical line that is 0 so where the meet where the horizon vertical x axis and y axis meet that point will be named as zero origin zero you will put there then above that one unit is there one box so you'll write down 10 then above that 20 30 40 50 leave one one unit you will consider and write okay so you will have a dark line in your graph paper okay that is your 1 cm then 1 cm 1 like that 70 80 90 and then 100 okay student so this is what you have taken on your this y axis that is percentage okay so you will write down your percentage of trucks and buses you have to give the title what you have taken on the y axis okay percentage of truck and buses now in x axis what you will write down in x axis what you will be taking the years which is given so you will leave one box that is 1 unit centimeter and then write for graph okay so you will write down like that 2005 6 you will leave this one unit gap then you will write in second 2005 6 then leave one box then write down in next 2007 8 then leave one unit that box then in next box you'll write down 2008 9 then leave one box and then you'll write down 2009 and 10 okay now these are bar diagram na so you have to draw the bars that is horizontally bars you have to draw here okay so now student after doing this and you'll mention here this years because we have taken on our x axis years okay you will mention what is you have to give the title over here now student percentage bar graph so for percentage you know we calculate out of 100 percentage is always out of 100 so you will draw all the vertical horizontal sorry all the horizontal bars till 100 okay so 2000 first you have to do that in 2005 and 6 see i have taken till 100 i have done this bar then 2000s and i said you you have to leave one unit box here then you have to do then you will be leaving this and 2007 and 8 you will do over here so i will do again till 100 for percentage you do this this is the easy way so till 100 i will plot okay then leave one box then for 2008 and 9 you will do okay then leave one and then 2009 10 okay now i have done Till hundred, I've marked. Okay, these are percent. Now in the okay, this year two thousand five and six, so number of trucks we have calculated. So number percentage of trucks were eighty four. Yes, the percentage because we have to divide this percentage bar one half with trucks and half with buses. So the percentage was cal we calculated was eighty four. So you can see eighties over here. So you know from eighty to ninety you have 10 lines 
there are small uh, that is faint lines are there there are total tens means one line for one uh, percent okay so for 84 student after 80 then above 80 will uh, uh, draw take more four lines and put a line over there so this way you have to do so after above 80 more four lines will consider and mark the line so this is 84 okay now this is buses and the above uh, sorry this is trucks and the above part is your buses so to differentiate this which is truck and which is bus so you can shade one part so i will shade the truck part from blue okay student so you have to also do now in 2008 7 and 8 so number of the percentage of trucks calculated we calculated as 81 we got answer as 81 so you will put a line above this is 80 till 80 you will come and one unit more you have to take one line more so you will do with your pencil and scale use pencil and scale so you will put one line that is 81 see i have done 80 and above that one i have taken that is 81 so these are percentage of trucks and above is buses so i'll shade here okay then in 2008 and 9 i had percentage of truck i calculated i got as 79 so can you see this is 70 so after 70 more nine lines you have to take small lines and you have to put the line over here like that so 70 and take more nine lines this is 79 so you got two part this is truck percentage of trucks and above is percentage of buses so shade this okay students now last one 2009 and 10 in 2009 and 10 uh, this one percentage of trucks was 78 so 70 and above 70 more eight lines you will take student and it will become 78 so we'll plot like that and so to differentiate it i'll shade this that is percentage of trucks with blue and above this is buses so this way you have to do your percentage bar graph okay in percentage bar graph remember all the horizontal bar should be till 100 then you have to divide it according to the percentage what you get okay now here also in graph you have to mention what you have taken as blue and what with the blank so you have to write there blue you have to make this scale over here that is that is blue with trucks i have done and plane is my buses is it clear please use pencil and scale okay this is what was percentage bar graph okay moving to the next one now in second one in the table given below the information is given about roads using this jet uh, sorry using this draw subdivided and percentage bar diagram approximate the percentage to the nearest integer now in this question you have to two, draw two graphs using the same data that is you have to do subdivided bar diagram and percentage bar diagram okay student now percentage bar diagram we have done the first sum which i taught you so percentage bar diagram you will do this as homework i will teach you your subdivided bar diagram now in subdivided bar diagram student here also we have to take the data now i have taken three columns that is here percentage uh, permanent roads that is lakh kilometer then uh, this one temporary roads that is in given in lakh kilometer and total one column now subdivided you know in simple bar there is only horizontal line okay and in subdivided you have to divide the bar according to the given data here now two data is given permanent road and temporary road so that horizontal bar will be divided into two parts so it is known as subdivided you are dividing the bar diagram into more smaller parts so it is subdivided bar diagram 
now for here also in for to draw subdivided bar diagram student you have to do total of the both the quantity then only you can draw the bars okay now in 2000 and 2001 permanent roads jetta uh, this were 14 lakh kilometer and temporary was 10 lakh kilometer so total will come to 24 okay now in 2001 and 2002 in the year 2001 and 2002 permanent roads value is 15 lakh kilometer and temporary roads value is 11 lakh kilometer so both the roads total comes to 26 lakh kilometer now in 2003 and 2004 so the permanent roads value is given as 17 lakh kilometer and temporary roads value is given as 13 lakh kilometer so total comes to 30 and 2007 and 8 permanent roads value comes uh, 20 lakh kilometer and temporary roads value comes to 19 lakh kilometer so the total comes to 39 now using this table data table this table we will draw our subdivided bar diagram okay now moving to the graph now student this is your graph paper now i have taken i have brought the table over here now student in graph paper first you have to draw this one vertical line and horizontal line you have to leave two unit space from the left and from down also two unit space and you'll do horizontal and vertical line so this vertical line i've done over here and this horizontal line i'll name it as y axis and here as x axis so you have to name it okay here so you have done x and above it is not seen but it is labeled as y okay now student as we have to do subdivided bar graph so we need to try take the scale what you have to put means how much distance how much units gap you have to take on your vertical y axis so seeing the data total 24 26 30 39 so I can have one unit as 5 yeah lakh kilometer I'll take scale so first write down scale that is on y axis 1 centimeter equal to 5 lakh kilometer I've taken 5 5 distance distance of 5 1 centimeter equal to 5 the next centimeter 10 like that I've taken there. means you know 1 centimeter in that 10 small lines are there students so two lines will measure as one then two lines one like that okay total 10 so you'll have five 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 like that okay so you'll put so start numbering to the axis on y axis you'll write down zero where they meet then five ten fifteen twenty twenty five 30 35 40 now student i have taken till 40 because total if you see here the highest range reaches till 40 39 is the last over here so we will take till 40 this is subdivided bar graph in percentage you have to take 10 20 30 10 10 units gap till 100 okay but in subdivided by seeing the data you have to take your scale i have taken on y axis 1 cm equal to 5 lakh kilometer so see 0 then this is my 1 unit so 5 then after that one more centimeter 10 15 like that till 40 because last reading here given is 39 okay now what are these these you have to write down what you have taken that is roads lakh kilo meter the unit what you have taken on your y axis is roads in lakh kilometer the distance of roads okay now in x axis you will write down here so you leave one box one unit one centimeter unit box and then in next box you will write down 2000 year that is 2000 to 2001 then leave then 2001 2002 then leave one box then 2003 to 2004 leave one 
box and 2007 to 2008 the given data which you have to you have to write here and you have to write what is this these are years okay now student first in 2000 and 2001 what is the total given over here 24 so you will draw your horizontal bar till 24 now you can see 20 and 25 is there so 24 two small lines below you will come and mark is it clear because 20 then two more lines if you take small lines 21 then two more 22 like that so from 25 come below two lines okay so you will mark this first 24 so here we have done 24 yeah can you see i have done 24 over here now student i will divide this bar into two that is permanent and temporary if permanent is 14 and temporary is 10 so i'll first divide 14 here so from the below i'll take 14 so means after 15 below that two lines i'll mark so i'll get 14 so this way you will two lines you leave from there and then mark is it clear so 14 so i will differentiate which is now if you don't shade then you will not come to know which is permanent which you mark for permanent and which for temporary so you can see this below we have a permanent rule so i'll shade it so i'll put the shading is it clear now in 2001 and 2 total given is 26 so 25 is here so more two lines above you'll take as 26 is it clear so we'll do marking okay like that you will plot your horizontal bar like that then you will divide this in 15 and 11 so 15 is easy so here you will put a line over here so here with this line i put 15 so this is my permanent and this is part is my temporary so i'll shade have shaded with same you have to do shading up don't do any other shading same okay so i've done this permanent and this remaining one is temporary so i got subdivided bar c i've divided the bar into two here so it is subdivided bar now in the year 2003 and 4 what is total 30 so till 30 i'll mark student see this is my reading 30 so 30 i'll do i'll make this bar then permanent roots given is student 17 so 15 four lines more above you'll take because two lines is one i said na so 15 ke above two lines will become 16 more two lines then 17 means total from 15 four lines above you have to take then mark so i have done then i'll shade it my permanent then 2007 and 8 total is 39 so below 40 more two lines below you will come so you'll get 39 i'll mark 20 for my permanent road so see i have marked here i have divided that bar now i'll shade it okay student now you have to mention what is your shading part and what is without shading part in your graph so here you'll write down permanent roads shaded is my permanent road and without shading is my temporary roots i hope you are cleared with this same question percentage bar graph you have to do as homework okay we'll calculate the percentage first then plot the graph okay now moving to the next exercise that is exercise 7.2 before starting with that exercise let's see what is given based on what is uh, the exercise based on now student data collection you know what is data collection the information we collect about a particular group is mostly in numerical nature called data okay so previously we got the graphs the data was given yes that was in numerical nature okay that is what is data now data are of two types primary data and one is secondary data the second one now what is primary data primary data is nothing but the data collected by the investigator according to the plan 
and keep objective in the in view is called primary data now few characteristics of primary data is that it requires more time if you want if the means the investigator itself goes and collects the data so it requires more time it is up to date and detailed information you get and third characteristic of primary data is it is correct and reliable okay now second data is secondary data secondary data means if the investigator is not able to collect data due to lack of time and resources then he may use data already collected by other agencies or official data published such data is called secondary data okay now for example teacher taking attendance daily in the class she take attendance in daily in the class by calling out the roll numbers that is what is primary data okay then secondary data the same attendance which is recorded by the teacher goes to office so when office staff collect the data that will be com uh, coming as secondary data because they have already using the data which the teacher has done so they follow that is coming as secondary data are you getting me so in easy way primary data means the investigator himself goes and collect the data okay and secondary data means the data which is already collected and we use it okay so we'll solve students our exercise 7.2 based on this now students some characteristics of secondary data that is it leads less time and data is readily available it may be it may lack details and third it may be less reliable so these are characteristics of secondary data okay based on this data collection we are going to solve our next exercise 7.2 classify following information as primary or secondary data the first one information of attendance of every student collected by visiting every class in school so information of attendance of every student collected by visiting every class in school so this will be as primary data then second the information of heights of student was gathered from school record and sent to the head office as it was to be sent urgently already the information was there in school record and they collected that information of height from that school record and they have sent so this is secondary data okay answer is secondary data third one in the village nandpur the information collected from every house regarding students not attending school so they have went to every house and who are not attending school they have collected that information so it is a primary data now fourth one for science project information of trees gathered by visiting forest means they are going uh, to forest and collecting the information so this is primary data okay student i hope you understood so please do complete both the exercise okay stay home stay safe and thank you